Okay, what is wrong with Ultimate Online and how to improve it? Let's start with the elephant in the room, the netcode. Netcode itself is just a broad term for how networking functions in online games. There are two main types of netcode, delay-based and rollback-based. Smash Ultimate currently runs on delay-based netcode. This means that the game will wait until it's received a signal from the other console before continuing the match. This is what causes input delay and pauses during a match. Rollback-based netcode makes a prediction of what the opponent will do and updates the game when it receives a signal from the console. If it guesses wrong, this is what causes teleporting. Which one is better for fighting games though? It's not just a single answer. They both have their pros and cons and I'm not an expert on this subject. I personally don't think the game needs too drastic of a change, but decreasing the standard offline input delay from around 5 to 6 frames to around melee 2 to 4 frames could make the game feel more playable even with a few added frames of online play. GSP GSP is Smash Ultimate's version of our online ranking system. Unlike other online ranking systems, it ranks you by telling you how many players you're better than. Nintendo never actually tells you how many players you're, there are though, so it's hard to know exactly where you actually stand compared to other players in the grand scheme of things. The amount of GSP you gain or lose is seemingly random as well, with most of the time you lose more GSP than you gain. This also encourages the one and done culture, as there isn't much reason to stay with one person to risk them adapting to your playstyle. Even on Elite Smash, it's hard to get proper practice sessions that other people do. Other people do the looming threat of losing GSP if you rematch someone better than you. If I could, I think making a real ranking system with the leaderboard would be an improvement, along with adding a game mode where you do a best of five or best of three set with someone with a ra with someone random with a stable wired connection, preferably in other stages than just Battlefield and FD. It could incorporate other stages in the rule set like PS2, Town and City, Smash for other stages that you need to practice on. This could be different than standard quick play. Quick play as an option to play a single match to warm up would still be there. Arenas. Arenas are almost perfect where they are, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. The only thing I would change is that the connect that is to set a connection requirements so joining so you can play more matches with less laggy opponents for better practice sessions. Other modes and critiques. Having an option to play Squad Strike and Smash Down online would be amazing. Currently, there's no real reason these games are locked to offline play only. I would love to play with some of my friends that I just really can't play locally with, but there's no option. I would also like if they have a option to play no with a non-local friend in quick play doubles, along with a queue where team attack is turned on to mimic the current legal rule set. What this means for the community. Online play is currently all we have because of COVID-19. I hope Nintendo will make some changes to help improve the online, but only time will tell. See you guys.